It took over two days of driving, over 800 miles, but I have finally arrived here under a big, beautiful Missouri sky, and the deals are absolutely insane. I am finding money everywhere I look, and this state has everything, from sought after video games to vintage clothing. Missouri has been a surprise jackpot for a reseller like me. I've found hundreds of dollars in profit, and I've only been here a week. I hope you have your license with you because we're about to go deal hunting in the show me state. Welcome to Hurricane Central. It is Saturday morning and the hurricane is pretty much here. Uh, at least it's raining here in Central Virginia. I don't think there's going to be too many yard sales this morning, but that doesn't really matter, at least for me, because I am on my way to Missouri for another work trip. This is going to be the last one for the year. I'm splitting the drive up into two days. I'm going to make it to Frankfort, Kentucky tonight. If I see a thrift store along the way, I will stop. So let's get down the road and see if we can find anything to flip along the way. So I've been on the road for about seven hours, made it through Virginia, West Virginia, and into Kentucky. This is my halfway point. Got about two hours before a coworker of mine arrives and we're gonna go out and grab a bite to eat. So I've got some time to kill and what better way to kill time than to go thrifting. So dinner tonight, I'm anticipating is gonna cost me around $25, but I'm gonna go in this Goodwill right here and see if I can find something to flip that's gonna cover dinner for the night. You know, you're in the Midwest or starting in the Midwest when you see cornfields like this. We don't really have that type of corn in Virginia. So I did pretty good in there. I was in there for maybe 45 minutes and I came away with two items. Let's look and see what I got. First item is this little Misty Mate personal mister. Paid $5 for this and this should sell for around 30 plus shipping. Now the comp I'm basing that off of is the original version of this, but this is like the high performance uh, HP model. So it might even go for more. I don't know, but I'm playing it safe five into 30 on this one. I think that's gonna be a pretty good flip. But the biggest one was this right here, uh, $25 for this, but it's Guitar Hero 3, just the guitar only. And the comp that I saw for just the box and the guitar sold for $120 plus shipping. This box is in a little bit worse shape. Uh, it's got a, you know, bent corners and whatnot, but I think I can list this for $99.97 plus shipping and get it sold, no problem. Hey guys, what's up? It is several days later. All I can say is that the nuclear industry demands a lot of your time. I do have off today. It's a Friday and I'm not seeing too many yard sales, but there is a rummage sale at this place. So let's go inside this rummage sale and see if we can find anything to flip online. All right, it's right at eight o'clock. They're letting everybody in. Looks like I'm gonna be about the second or third person inside the rummage sale. So let's go inside, see what we can find. They had it yesterday, but hopefully they still have some deals. All right, so tapes are 25 cents each. Got this Sony uh, UX 90s uh, blank media. So I'm guessing that'll be 50 cents. This should sell for around $20 plus shipping. And then this was in the free pile when I walked in the door. How cool is that? It's like an official Taco Bell coffee mug. There's a whole stack of these like quilting or um, knitting, knitting pattern books. So far, this sale is looking pretty good. I got an entire bag full of vintage single stitch clothes, like this little handkerchief. It's got some, um, you know, some pretty good, like 80s, 90s patterns in here. And it's fill a bag for $3. So I don't usually source clothes for the booth. That's normally April's job, but I did my best because it was such a good deal. So hopefully I got stuff we can sell at the booth here. This caught my eye. This is a huge, I mean, it is absolutely huge Afghan. It's got $20 right there, but it's got $10 right there. So I don't know, but we used to sell a lot of these, but unfortunately the market just isn't where it used to be. And even at $10, as I'm looking right now, there's only going for around 30, maybe 40 on eBay. And that's going to be a big heavy shipper. So I'm going to pass on this. Let me know if you think it's a mistake, if you would have picked it up. I didn't record as much as I wanted because it started to get very busy inside that rummage sale and I kind of kicked into reseller mode. I'm super focused on picking up those items to resell. I paid $20 for everything. This is a um, Don Joy Iceman Clear 3. And what this is, you fill it full of like ice water and it's got a pad and it circulates the cold water through the hoses and you put the pad on like your back if you got a sore back. And this sells for around 50 
to 60. I don't know if it's 100% complete. I know it's got the power cord and I know it's got the pad. I got this whole box of Harlequin books for $10. And also I noticed there's some vintage C.S. Lewis books in here. So I don't know what they're gonna go for, but they're in here too. These were super cool. There's, all of these were free. I love the vintage ephemera like this. It definitely just has that cool vintage 70s vibe to it. So they had fill a bag of clothes for $3 and I picked up a bunch of vintage pieces. April okayed some of them. So hopefully she approves of everything I bought. Vintage handkerchief. It's got a pretty cool pattern on it. I don't know if it's like sails, like sailboats. Vintage shirt. This was single stitch and it's kind of like a Hawaiian shirt, but it's got uh, padded shoulders in it. So it's like a ladies Hawaiian shirt, but single stitch, pretty cool piece. This is a vintage denim skirt a long skirt and it's a uh, made in usa by manor house here's another funky 80s 90s pattern shirt it is this is actually double stitch so maybe this isn't as old as it looked but definitely has a vintage looking tag jeans wear here is another vintage piece a nice little blouse and this is on a roper tag nice little button-up blouse this is a windbreaker, a uh, nice, definitely 90s. Got the teal and the pink and the purple colors in there. This was in pretty good shape. It's a little faded, but there's no major stains on it that I can see, no rips, anything. And this is by E-M-E, oh, Eve, Eve Sport. Paid 50 cents for these, Sony Blank Media. This should sell for around $19 plus shipping little taco bell mug i never even looked this up but it was free in the free box so i think that this should sell for at least ten dollars but i think this is like what they used to have in the taco bell restaurants that's what it looks like did a quick search for this coffee cup using google lens and i still can't find this exact one the closest one i found on ebay was this one right here this is a taller plastic vintage taco bell coffee cup or drink cup uh, that sold for $15 auction. So maybe this will be at least $15, maybe even more. I'm going to reach out to a few Facebook groups and see if we can find the actual value of what I should list this cup at. Second yard sale down. We found some more deals. Let's check them out. We picked up these three items for $5 total. This is a little vintage iron-on patch for Capricorn. It's 50 cents. I think I can get around, I don't know, $8, $10 plus shipping on eBay. So that's that's pretty cool. This was, I had to pick this up. It was only a quarter, you know. You know, it happens. It happens sometimes. I'm not going to say what it is, but yeah, it does happen. This is a uh, Andis set of uh, pet clippers. Uh, it's got the manual. It's got the clippers plus a bunch of different um, guards and some extra blades in there. It is dirty. It has definitely been used. There's some pet hair on it, but even pre-owned, these without the guards are selling for around $30 plus shipping quick stop at another yard sale a little bit more than i wanted to pay but two dollars each these are new and they've got over 100 percent sell-through rate so yeah these should uh they should do pretty good around 25 dollars plus shipping for both of them this came from that yard sale right there and i picked up a few good things for ten dollars i got this omni filter set it's new it's got the filter or it's got the filter housing and two filters this should go for around 60 to 65 dollars plus shipping on ebay and then uh, I can't believe it. This was out. It's almost like noon. Sonic Heroes for a dollar. Need for Speed Underground 2 for a dollar for the GameCube. This is the big one. Simpsons Hit and Run. Uh, also for Game 2 for a dollar. And then this was like the least valuable one. Uh, EA Sports MVP Baseball 2005. But a dollar each on GameCube games. I couldn't believe it at that sale. And then... Again, this is usually something April picks up for the booth. Bought a set of these uh, brass pheasants, uh, $10 for both of them. I think these are sell for around $20 to $25 each at our booth. They're gonna need a little bit of cleaning. We'll put some uh, barkeeper's friend on them, but they'll clean up and then we'll get them to the booth as soon as I get back home. Missouri, Missouri, Missouri. I am in love with the yard sales around here. This is everything that I bought today. Grand total was $60 for everything on the table. I'm going to get all that back, plus a little bit of profit just by selling this one game. Again, if you see this, guys, definitely look out for it. This is selling for around $70 to $100, depending on condition. I can't really test it, so I might list it a little bit cheaper than that, but still, it's going to pay for everything on the table. Don't know if you saw this. This is a vintage from the 70s. Uh, Sagalo little vest here. This is going for around $30 plus shipping on eBay. 
I got a bunch of books. I'll go ahead and just throw some comps on the screen. This whole stack of books that I'm going through was $2. Uh, I've sold this one before, so that's what made me start looking through the books at this one sale. But I've sold that one, and then, you know, that one was $0.10. Cents. Yeah, so got a bunch of stuff there. Super, super excited to get all these deals. Missouri, I, I don't know what to say. I'm thinking once everything gets listed, around $400. Hey guys, I just got off an 11 hour night shift, so I am absolutely tired and ready for bed. Uh, good news is we got a storm rolling in, so I should sleep pretty well today. Anyway, I just wanted to cut in real quick and talk about this Taco Bell mug that I picked up earlier in the video. I went on Facebook and I reached out to the Reselling Resource Facebook page, and I got a few people to respond to the picture, and they said that I should list it anywhere between $40 and $50. Uh, apparently, Taco Bell used to serve coffee. Uh, I had no idea. I just usually get like the chicken quesadilla, maybe a taco at Taco Bell, but who knew that they used to, you know, serve coffee. So I think that when I list it, I'm going to throw it out there for $50 plus shipping. Speaking of Facebook, we've revamped the Facebook page. So if you want to head on over and follow us over there, that would be amazing. Also check us out on TikTok and Instagram and make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new.